Hey everyone, Sean Taggy here. Today is a little different video. I'm gonna be talking about a book that I like that I've read with my team, two books actually, The Question Behind the Question, right here, and Flipping the Switch. We'll dive into my thoughts on the books. All right, let's check it out. So guys, uh, our team has read The Question Behind the Question. It is an awesome book that really helps you unlock the potential of getting out of the victim mindset, the victim loop. So you'll hear a lot of people, and it's kind of something that's just in our society, in the way we were raised, something that naturally happens, but it causes us to be stuck. And you hear those people, they're typically stuck in a victim mindset, they're thinking, how could this happen to me, right? Or you'll ask them why something went wrong, why they weren't able to perform in their job or, or in life, and it gets so bad that it becomes a part of their life and a part of their culture is they're like, well, it's because of so-and-so. It's because of this thing that is affecting me. It's like everything is affecting them and causing them to not be able to achieve what they want to achieve. So, and that's when you're blaming it. You know, it was your fault. It was his fault. And so when you're doing that, though, you're really trapping yourself and you're creating a mindset of just always blaming something because you can always find something. Ultimately, you can, you can just blame it on the universe, blame it on God, you can blame it on the market, right? I'm not starting in real estate because the market's too crazy right now, right? And that's why I didn't get started. I didn't get promoted because of my boss. He didn't allow me. Well, instead, in the book, it talks about really the question should be not who did it or, or what caused it to happen. It's what can I control? So what can I do to remediate the situation? What can I do better to get a raise? How can I understand? This? So here's some great questions. I like I'm flipping the switch. It costs, it co talks about questions behind the question. The sale falls through. So let's say it's sale falls through. When will I ever get a break, right? You're like, oh, why is the sale fell through? I didn't get this. I didn't get that house under contract. Instead of asking that question, ask, how can I better understand my customer? How can I better understand the real estate market? Why this deal fell through and I wasn't able to buy it? How can I understand what the seller was looking for? How could I have written my offer better? How can I understand what others are paying for and why they're analyzing it that way? What are they seeing that I'm not seeing? So all those questions, instead of just saying, oh, when will I ever go to break? Or why does that seller suck? You know, applying it to real estate. You just, that, that just causes you, because when you finally blame it on someone else, you immediately go in your brain like, oh, well, it's not gonna happen. I, I don't have anything to solve because it's out of my control. But when you finally ask, how can I better understand what the seller is looking for and what other offer they took, you can finally start thinking, well, maybe next time I could adjust my offer this way. Buy quicker, pay cash, pay more, pay less, change my terms. Uh, I could have negotiated better. Maybe I could have understood them more. Anyways, that, that opens up your mind to controlling things. Kind of see the difference there. Let's do another couple other examples. Uh, you're passed over for promotion, right? And you know those people, the people that don't get promotions will typically have to ask this question. Why did this happen to me? My boss is so terrible. He, you know, it's like outside, external going to you. You're playing the victim. That just traps you right there. The second you go, it's the boss's decision that I got a promotion or not really just stops you. You're like, well, now I don't need to do anything. Instead, the people that usually get promotions go, what can I do in my current job to excel? How can I show an outstanding performance in that such my boss sees how awesome I'm doing and will give me a, a raise or a promotion, right? How could I have maybe asked that better? What, what am I doing wrong right now in my job to, to, to make it so I didn't get that. Second you do that, it's in you. You see it's in your control. And it, just from those questions, you can tell the emotion behind them, you feel more free, depending on which way you ask. Here's one, our child struggles in school, right? Uh, parents that have children that struggle in school, probably, you know, not, not generalizing, you know, just things. Why can't the schools be more effective, right? Blaming even something even double out of their control, the market, right? Anyways, so why can't the schools be better at teaching my kids? That's putting the blame on someone else, therefore, you as a parent won't do anything. That question immediately, doesn't make you think of anything you can do. A better question would be, how can I help my, my child succeed in school? That immediately puts all the control back onto you. You don't feel like a victim, you feel accountable and that you can actually take things in your control. When you think that question, it just opens up with more questions like, what specifically is my child struggling with? What is the teacher teaching and how can I be more aware of that? 
maybe what is the learning strategy of my child, right? You start thinking those better questions instead of blame, blame, blame. Anyways, it's very frustrating to me when I, when I catch those people because number one, I'm aware of it and I have been stuck in the victim loop before, of course, all of us have, but it's just, once you open up your mind to this question behind the question, you really start to see it, and you start to see it, and you start to notice the people that are and that are not, and you really just wanna be around those people that are succeeding, that are asking those good questions, being proactive, being accountable for what they're doing, and it just makes you just so drained and bummed out when some people are stuck. Unfortunately, they are stuck in that that victim loop, always blaming others and external circumstances, and not really, not really solving any problem, just really making the problem more grueling. So I think it's also a life, a life switch as well. Hence why I like the name Flipping the Switch. Great book. Okay, the people you manage fail to do, your, to do their jobs, right, or your team. So people, you know, an incorrect question would be, why aren't they motivated? Why, why are they such slackers? Some people even go to the point of like, why do they disrespect me so much as their manager? I don't think that's a great way to go about it because all that just blames it on them, blames it on your employees, the people you're managing. A better question would be, how can I improve my leadership and coaching skills? Whoa, look at that. Like immediately, I, I feel excited about that question. I feel like, how can I understand my employees better? What is it that I'm not figuring out? What is it that I'm doing in my style that is not getting to them? You know, what, what, maybe, what, maybe even better, like what's going on? What can I figure out in their life to help them improve that? Or in their job, maybe it's something they're doing. Maybe the way I've made them do things isn't working well. Maybe there's something that I actually need to change up in our process to fix. Anyways, you can see I, I asked that one a lot. So a mistake is made. This can be in anything, but the incorrect question is who blew it, right? But the other better question would be, what can I do to help solve the problem? A, a mistake's made. Who cares who did it? Who cares who did the thing right in that current moment? It doesn't matter. What matters is, what can I do to solve this right now? Even going that further, what can I do to prevent this issue from happening again? What could I have done better to communicate to make sure it's not missed or fallen through the cracks or a mistake happens? Anyways, love it. John G. Miller, great guy really helped our team out a lot, helped us with our attitude. It's helped me out also, of course, in my personal life with my wife and kids. So I definitely suggest those books, Question Behind the Question, Flipping the Switch. Thank you so much, guys, my thoughts for today. Hopefully this book helps you out. Go ahead and read it, buy it. Let me know your thoughts and comments on it. Thank you.